Hi everyone, FIFA Career Gems here. Thanks for tuning into my channel today. I just want to start off by saying a happy new year to you and your family. Let's hope that 2019 is a good one. Now obviously with the start of the new year, also we get the transfer window opening. So let's have a look at a few star heads that could be on the move in the January transfer window. Now some of these deals have already been completed, whereas some of them are still at the rumour stage. So let's have a look at the first player, and it's Christian Pulisic, whose deal has already been completed from Borussia Dortmund to Chelsea, for a fee believed to be somewhere in the region of £58 million, and he's been loaned back to Borussia Dortmund for the rest of the season. Personally, I think it's a great statement of intent from Chelsea, doing some good transfer business early in the window. Another deal that's already been completed is the one for the English striker Dominic Solanke who's moved from Liverpool to Bournemouth. The deal has been done for a fee believed to be around £19 million. Personally, I think it's good business for everyone, great profit made by Liverpool and he'll get good game time at Bournemouth. And joining Solanke at Bournemouth will be his former Liverpool teammate Nathaniel Klein, the right back who has joined Bournemouth for the rest of the season on loan. He's fell down the pecking order behind Trent Alexander-Arnold at Liverpool. So again, it seems like a perfect bit of business from Bournemouth. Next up is a player who was wanted by a whole host of Premier League teams, and that's the PSG midfielder Adrian Rabiot, who at the end of the season, his contract expires with PSG, and will be joining Barcelona on a pre-contract deal. Excellent bit of business from Barcelona, even though they're reported to be paying him quite a high wage. Another pre-contract deal that's almost complete is Aaron Ramsey to Juventus. Now, from an Arsenal point of view, I just don't get this deal at all. Personally, I think they should be breaking the bank to sign him up on a new contract. He's been one of their best players so far this season and really fits in well with Unai Emery's system. Manchester City youngster Brahim Diaz is reportedly returning to his homeland with Real Madrid. I don't really see him getting a lot of game time at the Bernabeu, so possibly Real Madrid signing him just to loan out. He's still very young at only 18, so possibly keeping an eye on him for the future. A player who's fell down the pecking order under Maurizio Sarri at Chelsea is Cesc Fabregas. He's 31 years of age now. If newspaper reports are to be believed, he's playing his last game for Chelsea in the FA Cup this weekend before moving to a French side, AS Monaco. Young English striker Tammy Abraham, who is currently out on loan at Aston Villa from Chelsea, is wanted by a whole host of Premier League clubs, but Wolves have made a concrete offer. There's a very good chance that deal could be completed in the January transfer window. It's been reported that Chelsea have had an offer accepted for the PSV and Mexico winger Hervin Lozano. Personally, I can't see this deal getting done in January. Simple fact is Chelsea have just paid a lot of money out for Christian Pulisic and I don't think they can afford to sign two wingers in this transfer window. And the final player in today's video is Timo Werner. Reports are he's not going to be signing a new contract with RB Leipzig. So that's led a whole host of clubs to declare their interest. Liverpool being one of them over here in England. But personally, I think if he's going to move anywhere, he'd want to stay in Germany. So that could pave the way for a move to the Giants of Bayern Munich. So that rounds up today's video of a few star heads that could be on the move for a transfer in the January window. And as always, I want to say a massive thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my YouTube uploads. Happy New Year yet again. FCG out.